Hey everybody, this is Rick. I have uh, some customer examples today of both cleaning with uh, a MacuClean and with using a square mount protector. And additionally, I wanted to start by showing you some of these photos that were interesting. A friend of mine, uh, Russ, was showing me some comic books he bought that were uh, in someone's display case at their store and they had put a sticky note with the price tags on them and uh, left them out and I'm not sure what the light conditions were maybe daylight maybe not but this, I'll show you some examples this this uh, this Spider-Man's Todd McFarlane Spider-Man was a bit the greatest example you can see very clearly in this one probably because it's reds and yellows the effect of the light and I'm presuming UV light it could also have been visible light but we all know that UV light is much more powerful and you can see this bottom left hand corner here is clearly you know that's what it should have looked like like you may not have noticed otherwise right but you see that that's what it looked like behind the sticky note and here's it that's the most dramatic example some of the other ones are more subtle here's this metamorpho element man and it's harder to see but you can make out this area I'll draw a little box around it here in this bottom left hand corner where there was a sticky note and then I'll play some videos of both the uh, you know the metamorpho showing you kind of where the sticker was there that may help a little bit and additionally we have Fine in the collection a sandman here my money and finally we have a, a sandman here and it's again harder to tell but you can see that one and then a few others you get to kind of concentrate and sort of imagine where this was a little bit but you can see on the Ghost Rider as well, there's a um, there's a mark there, so you can you can tell, and it's um, a little depressing to see that, but it shows the importance of uh, protecting these from just ambient light. It can get you. Like you don't see it. I had a customer show me one recently. It grew. I'll see if I can find that as well. That was uh, that was just a few months in someone's cabinet in their uh, in their home, and you can see the difference and what that looked like so um, you know I, I have those uh, the slab max UV boards that'll protect it from protect things in uh, CGC and CBCS cases but of course you can also just you know lay them in front of them and I'm there may there are probably other products out there too of which I'm unaware but um, you know just to do take care if you can and I have some feedback here from uh, Brandon W who uh, uses a square round protector and some questions and he writes uh, hey Rick I just thought you might be interested in some feedback I use a square round protector to press a Silver Surfer number four and a Marvel Superheroes number 20 worked like a charm attach some photos for you I love it probably going to order another three millimeter and a six millimeter too I used the staple tools to take the cover off in Avenger, Avengers number four and it that was mostly detached and split in order to reinforce it with archival tape. Both of these work great too. Thanks. That's good feedback on the square round protector and the staple tool. Thank you, Brandon. He also writes, he says, the only negative thing I ran into was with the square round protector. I tried to use it on a what if number 10, Jane Foster Thor's hammer issue. That one was a little thinner and the three millimeter protector seemed too thick to really be of use. Not sure if that's just me or worth looking into if you plan on producing more of these. I also have no idea if it's a standard size that Marvel use for books in that unique case. There's a shim. I have a little shim that goes inside the square brown protector that is about one and a half millimeters and you can use it to scoot up a book that's thinner than that. Um, I sell those separately or you can buy them with your square brown protector. Um, let me know, uh, Brandon, if you're uh, watching this and I'll, I'll send one out to you for free. But uh, they come with them now so that you can scoot them up or in a shim on the outside if they're a little too thick to go down so you have sort of infinitely adjustable well semi discreetly adjustable uh, sizes on those and here's uh, Brandon's pictures he's got a, a Dr. Doom before and after that's pretty good work with the square brown protector right see those bottom right corner there nice work Brandon and up oh, here's other angles of the same book it's a little more subtle from this angle I can't really see as well but um, oh yeah actually I can it looks better and then here's the back of the same book yeah it worked you can see he's cleaned it too you can tell he's done a good job on this one and oh wow that's sweet 
job on this awesome Bashima cover. And you this lower right hand corner you can really tell. It's done a great job on that. And wow, he did a really good job. I should have looked at these better. He he's obviously cleaned it a little. Well, maybe he hasn't cleaned it a little bit. It looks cleaner, but man, he did a great job on those photos. So really appreciate that, Brandon. Thanks so much. And I love the way you've you know your little number signs and arrows thing. I might steal this in the future. But yeah, shim up or have a shim up and a shim down that come with the square bound protectors now. And if you uh, Brandon, if you need one, uh, reach out. I'll, I'll, I'll take care of you. And lastly, I have some examples from a customer who is sharing his photos of a MacuClean use on a book. And he is um, showing me this great, you know, I'm a, I have a soft spot for Spideys, of course. And so he's showing me this great Medusa cover. He shows it with, uh, with the black light. So he's got that on there and he has with the, he's just showing, I think that, I think he's demonstrating that it has, it's not, you know, fluorescing. I he can really see the dirt marks there. And he, he also said he was remiss that he didn't get it right at the very beginning of his project, that he sort of took his initial picture, which is this one like part way through, and you can see how it's sort of dirty on the right. There are water stains up on the upper right. And on the left, he's got the, uh, you know, some pretty severe <laughs> spine ticks that border on, uh, spine fissures I would say and then he's got uh, you know after it's uh, you know cleaner so that's a that's a great one from uh, this person didn't I haven't gotten this person's permission to share his name yet but I didn't want to share the work so um, so that's it for today and I will talk to you guys uh, next time see you later bye